Hey, I'm a homie cheese, Mr. Starbucks for me here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get custom Minecraft maps. So, what you're gonna need for this is a flash drive. Oh, on PS3. It's only on PS3. Sorry, guys. Xbox is basically the same exact thing, except you have to do it with the Xbox way. My PC is completely different. So, what you're gonna need for this, you're gonna need a flash drive of some sorts, a PS3, obviously, a PS3 controller, obviously, and a computer or a laptop. So what you're going to want to do is download the link that's in the description. I have already downloaded You know what? Actually, no, I've already downloaded it. You could trust me on this. Uh, now what you're going to want to do after you download it, you're going to want to open your little files, your, um, your file down here. This is Windows 7, Windows 8, like any Windows computer. You're going to open uh, the little folders, and then you're going to come over to uh, your download folders. And then you're gonna go over here in school until you find your Minecraft map. One sec, let me go ahead and find mine. Okay, I have found mine. So what you're gonna want to do when you find your folder, <clears throat> you're gonna, you know, double click it. Sorry about that weird grunt. I like fell over onto my chair. You're gonna double click it. You're gonna want the folder that says this this bunch of that junk when you open it you're gonna make sure that it has all this junk if it doesn't have all that junk then it's not real okay so take your flash drive plug it into your computer okay now oops that that just happened what you're gonna want to do is take this little file drag it to your desktop Okay, now what you're going to want to do is go to your files again, go down to computer, click your removable disk, and make uh, a thing uh, called PS3, save data, you're going to take this and throw it into your PS3 and save data. Okay, now I'll show you that one more time. In the root of your uh, flash drive, PS3, and save data. Okay, now X that out, go down here, this is the crucial part, click this, and then click your little flash drive thing, eject it, and wait till it says safe to remove it. If it does not say safe to remove, um, you're gonna have to turn off your computer completely and turn it back on. So, just discard the computer now. And um, I'm going to open up uh, my HomePod because I'm going to record in a minute. But now what you're going to want to do is plug your flash drive into your PS3. Boom. Okay, now in your PS3, wait a couple seconds and it will sync up automatically. Go to game. Now scroll up until you see it says saved data utility ps3 go ahead and click that scroll down to usb device now go to your map press triangle copy and now it is in the middle of copying it to my playstation now once that is done just go ahead and press x or circle back out of everything and open up minecraft oh crap i press square oops <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Now, as you can see, I haven't really even done anything with my computer. It's just my, um, thing. Yeah, my, uh, my home pog. Nothing's going on with the PlayStation or the PC or the, uh, anything. Just so you guys know. Here's Minecraft. Wait for it to load up. Now, if you want to um, make this a solo map, I um, I recommend for you guys to um, put a invite only on. Go ahead and press play game. Wait for it to say load. And it should be either at the very, very top or the very, very bottom. I forgot. It's the newest update, so I haven't really done this in a while. 
Prison Escape, right there at the top. Bam. Uh, sometimes it will be in creative. Just go ahead and throw that into survival. You might want to mess with your uh, options and stuff. Online game. I'm going to keep that on, but then turn invite only on. Because I'm going to do this with my friend. Uh, make sure that keep inventories off because that's kind of what you want for this. Um, so go ahead and load the game. And it will come up with a trial texture pack. Uh, no. I did not mean to put a texture on that. Load. It will say start the game. This world has been previously, you know, in creative mode. And then it would also say... One second. So this is how you guys know that it's not my map. Trophies will be disabled because this belongs, this save belongs to another user. So go ahead and press OK. And when you join that game, it will be your custom Minecraft. But I'm sorry I'm shaking a lot. My arm was getting tired. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.